Today on American Gladiators, the long road is over. Today, it's the Grand Championship. All year long, contenders have stepped into Gladiator Arena, giving their best, only to be shown time and time again that the Gladiators are for real. We started this odyssey with 64 contenders. Today, four remain. Which two will be called Grand Champions? For the men, it's the daring, outrageous Kyler Storm. Now I'm knocking at your front door. Let the weatherman in and watch the storm. He'll face an acrobat in his own right, Daniel Cunningham. Crashing the Titans against the Vikings. The women, power versus power, police officer Adrian Sullivan. I'm like a mosquito. And I will keep taking and taking and taking until I achieve what it is I want. Versus battling Liz Raglan. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So who will earn the right to be called American Gladiator's Grand Champion? Championship. Gladiator action is fantastic. The long road to the Grand Championship has reached the end. Today we crown two new contenders as the best of the best. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Adamley, and welcome to Gladiator Arena. Today, the Fab Four competing for the American Gladiator Crystal Daniel Cunningham, Kyler Storm, Liz Raglan, Adrian Sullivan. I doubt if they got much sleep last night. So much to think about, so much at stake. For more on that story, Lisa Miloski is outside the contender locker room. Mike, as you would expect, tension is running high. This is it, do or die time for the contenders. It's the grand championship and $25,000 on the line. Now, I talked to the contenders earlier today. They told me they're trying not to think about the money, puts too much pressure on them. The mood, serious, focused. I've dreamed being on the Gladiators ever since they first came on, and when I got here, it's not like watching TV. When you get here, it's a totally different story. I'm this far. This is what all that training was for. I'm ready to rock. My nerves on ends. I can't sleep. It's just nerve wracking. I can't wait till it's over. Working out, the training, the getting up early, the running, the weights. It's all put into a pile, and this is today. With that in mind, let's meet our finalists. 24 years old, 5'8", 150, from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania, Daniel Cunningham. This man, 25 years old, 6'2", 195, from Stockton, California, Kyler Storm. Our female finalist, 33 years old, 145, 5'6", from San Diego, California, Liz Ragland. And rounding out the field, 26 years old, 5'6", 145, from Covington, Georgia, Adrian Sullivan. And today our four finalists have a chance to take home an additional $15,000 if they can become grand champion, bringing their total winnings to $30,000 in cash and prizes. And our grand championship starts tall. Which contender can climb the wall? The first event, the men are up first. Let's go to the tail of the tape. Kyler Storm, 25, 6 195. Motivational speaker from St. Augustine, Florida. Now living in Stockton, California. Last week, he beat Troy LeBlanc in the semis. Dan Cunningham, 24, 5 8, 150. The cartoonist from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. First man up the wall in 60 seconds or less will pick up 10 points. Turbo has drawn the Gladiator assignment of pulling Kyler off the wall. Nitro gets the cartoonist, Dan Cunningham. Okay, now I'm concentrating, man. Contenders ready! Again, ready, an additional $15,000 in prize money available to today's winner. They've already pocketed $12,500 for their efforts so far. Kyler, the only contender in this grand championship who has been successful, looking good. But I'll tell you what, Turbo is right on him. Turbo had a leg up, 
Kyler getting close. Is Turbo gonna get him? Oh man, he shrugs him off, and look at Daniel Cunningham. What's the call? What's the call? I'm looking at referee Larry Thompson. He's got it. Kyler Stone first, Daniel Cunningham second. Kyler's time, 26 seconds. Daniel Cunningham in 27. That's how close it was. Give Kyler 10, give DC 5. Daniel, Kyler, congratulations. What a way to start this grand championship. The first word that came to my mind about that performance, electrifying. You both make it to the top. Kyler, can you be aware as a contender where your competitor is and where the gladiator is at the same time? And were you? Yes, I can because Turbo had my foot twice. That told me how far down he was from me. I knew he couldn't reach up to me, but just him having him get my foot is what made me kick it in. Did but you realize how close Daniel was to you? No, I didn't. I was focusing on Turbo and getting my butt up here. DC, how about you? This is your first trip to the top. Yeah. It's got to feel mighty good, huh? Oh, it feels real good. I think Spider-Man got a new name. Daniel Cunningham. <laughs> all right, Spider-Man. All right, Kyler, come on down. Ten points for Kyler, it. five for DC. All right, well thanks, done. Mike. Thank you, Mike. Kyler and Dan both look like that comic book superhero Spider-Man. This is how close it was. And our grand championship for the women begins with the wall as well. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Liz, 33 years old, 5'6", 150. Bank teller from San Diego, California. Adrian Sullivan, 26, 5'6", 145. A police officer from Covington, Georgia. Adrian primed. Siren is too. She draws the assignment of Liz. Sky will be chasing Adrian. Both women had the wall as one of their events in the semifinals. Both women did not make it. But this is truly an event where one gets better the more opportunities they have to climb it. Here we go. Again, 60 seconds to time limit. All four athletes start at the same time, and at about this juncture in the wall, you'll see the Gladiators crossing over and trying to pull the contenders down. Siren, the first to reach that crossover point. Liz Raglan has elected to take the straight route up as Adrian Sullivan can't believe it. She just lost her grip. Siren had a grip on Liz's right leg and pulls her off. So the women scoreless, or go scoreless, on the wall. But things just beginning to pick up. Around the corner, it's the gauntlet. Been training for six years. Just for a tournament, something like this, this is big to me. Our grand championship rolls on. Round two, event number two. Kyler with the five-point lead on Dan Cunningham. The event, the gauntlet. Inside are five gladiators. Nitro, Turbo, Laser, Saber, and a Hawk. A storm is on the horizon. Kyler scored 40 in the semis. All right, man, last time this was hard to do. Hawk screwed me up. If I get through Hawk, I might get a chance. The Gladiators know he's good, and they're going to give him something to remember. At least they're going to try to. Here we go. He tries to duck underneath Turbo in that zone number three, and that's not a good idea. Turbo will keep you pinned down there. He's now in station number four in Hawk, but he is running out of time here. He is not even gonna make it to Sabre. The Gladiators do their thing once again in the gauntlet, as they love so very much to do. No points for Kyler Storm. Up next, DC, Dan Cunningham. I hate this event, but I try. I gotta try and go through them though. If you're gonna be a dog, you gotta be a wolf. Let's hope there's a little bite in his bark. Contender ready! Gladiators! Gladiators ready. aren't selling wolf tickets. Here we go, DC, oh man! It looked good. It may not have been effective enough to get him out in 20 seconds or less, or 25 seconds or less, but man, he is smoking now. Hawk holding it up and doing a great job. Now Saber, 20 seconds are gone. His time, let's see, does he get five or 10? Let the clock in the bottom left corner of your screen be the judge. You'll get your answer. 
Daniel, simply incredible performance, especially the start. We did not know you can fly. Did you plan that? I plan on getting through the first one, do something exciting so I can get myself pumped up. And that's what I did. I wanted, I wanted to go over laser. Yeah, you did. Show you what literally, I can do. Yeah, let's take a look at it. We've got it on the big screen here. And tell me what was going through your mind as it happened. Well, what was, what was going on through my mind first was I thought I was going to land it on my head until I grabbed his head <laughs> and flipped on over. I said, what's up, right about there. Oh. And boom, there it is. Ooh, that was so, <laughs> so pretty, Daniel. Thank you for giving us such a show. Oh, you're welcome, Lisa. Anytime. <laughs> Our Fab Five inside the gauntlet, event number two for our women. The Gladiator Quintet of Siren, Sky, Ice, Jazz, and Zap. And this may be Adrian Sullivan's best event. She's up first. Let's go back to the first round when Adrian flew through this gauntlet. She was an outstanding athlete at East Atlanta High School back in Georgia. Looks like she may have played some football. Nice spin move there. And then the duck under to cross the finish line. Contenders ready. ready. Can't she do it again? Contenders got to keep their legs pumping. Working by Sky. Ice jams are hard. Working hard against Zap. She's out of the gauntlet. This time around, she makes it in 16 seconds. Give her the full complement of points. She's got 10 and on the scoreboard first here in this grand championship battle against Liz Raglan. Her athleticism on display again. Five hits and one to grow on. 16 seconds, your best time ever. I want to know the secret to this gauntlet, to winning it. The secret is to keep moving, keep your legs pumping. These ladies are going to put some big hard hits like Ice did. <laughs> I just have kept focused to keep going regardless of the hits. Now tell me, I, you're going to show us the victory salute, but tell me first of all who it's for. It's for my brother Fat. Well, this is his nickname, Melvin. Uh, he was killed back in 92 in Atlanta. And everything I do, every successful point in my life is for him. And I dedicated a salute for him on national TV for everybody back home. And no fat, no, he's a great person. Oh, fantastic. Let's see it and congratulations. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Thank you. Fat. Fat. Everybody at home. Fat. So Adrian has given Liz Ragland something to shoot for 10 points. And if anything, Liz has going for her. it's her experience as a rugby player. Contender ready! Gladiators ready! Working hard to get by Siren. Sky trying to keep Liz down. Boy, she just knocked over Ice. Ice can't believe it. She gets by Jazz. And she's out. Wow! <laughs> wow, I said she was powerful. I wasn't sure that she was that powerful. 17 seconds. Her husband James saying, man, <laughs> I don't even believe it. Liz, first time ever, you bowled those gladiators down like pins at a bowling alley. You literally knocked ice flat. Oh my gosh. Well. I didn't do it on purpose, but I was just, this is my worst fear was this one because I've never done it, never seen it live, and I just knew the rest of it, back, forth, turn, side, spin, just get going and get down there through the end, and that's what I had to try to do. Did your rugby experience help? I think it did help a little bit because I'm not afraid to be hit, and I don't afraid to hit either, but I didn't want to hurt, but I'm sorry if I did, but I enjoyed it. Enjoyment, not the first word that comes to mind when the pyramid is concerned, but it may be Daniel Cunningham's best event. He did well in earlier rounds. It's next. Our grand championship marches on. Event number three, the men will start things off here. It's the pyramid. Kyler and DC tied at 10. Yeah, the championship edition. Championship edition right here. Waiting at the top, Saber and Turbo. Contenders have 45 seconds to make it all the way up.
Finding running room, not easy up there. Saber has Kyler all wrapped up. Kyler loses a shoe, but he also loses Saber. He's going to get 10 points. Turbo flinging DC all the way back to ground zero. Kyler doing the swim up there. He can enjoy this one now. Daniel running out of time, about 10 seconds left. Turbo sends him back to Earth one more time. And that is it. DC couldn't make the trip to the top, but Kyler Storm did. A huge 10 points. Saber had him all wrapped up, but he wasn't ready for Kyler's enormous acrobatic skills. Okay, Kyler, look what I picked up on the way up. Well, thank Something you, I think you lost. Thank you, Lisa, for bringing that back to me. Uh, that was my uh, little um, help in this event because he had my foot, and I just felt the thing just kick out. Yeah. And it was like butter. He slipped. But the Saber man, he still stuck me good. He stuck me good. But this time I was just able to get on top of the, the pyramid, and I'm glad to be up here and get this game started. Yeah, it is. Ten big points. Congratulations. Thank you, Lisa, again. Adrian and Liz ready to score against our two gladiators. They're tied at 10 coming in. Eyes set on the summit. There's ice and jazz. Here we go. And jazz, ice have Liz and Adrian all wrapped up, back to the bottom they go. Uh-oh, we've got a possible breakaway here as Ice and Jazz get crossed up. Jazz has got a hold of Adrian's foot. She gets there in the nick of time. Now she's got a full body lock on her. Adrian still on her feet, however. Liz going back to the bottom courtesy of Ice and Adrian finally goes down. Ice and Jazz not giving an inch, and that is it. The 45 seconds expires. No points for either contender here in the pyramid. I think dancing in the Olympics was probably up at the top, and this is right up there with it. So I think it's probably close to the opening ceremonies of the 88 Olympics. We're gonna put a little punch in our grand championship. The next event, next round, is the joust where Laser is waiting. Our grand championship beat continues here at Gladiator Arena. Event number four is the joust. First up, the man, and the man on the platform for the Gladiators will be Laser. He's got the advantage with experience and weight, a 70 pound differential. Again, contenders have 30 seconds to try to knock the Glad off that platform. That's a 10 point effort if they can go the distance without being knocked off in 30 seconds is five points and a draw it only took laser two seconds to get rid of daniel cunningham okay daniel i guess laser got you back for that gauntlet move oh, he sure did man he, he rung my bell <laughs> rung my bell badly <laughs> I, rang it. It got, <laughs> I thought i was at the, i thought i was at the church <laughs> TKO there, brother. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it, guys. Right, one more time. Just what you want to do, Daniel. Tell me what was happening. Well, by this time, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> uh, I can just say, oh, I should have hit him harder. <laughs> Good job, baby. Good work, Jim, thanks a lot. The church of whoop upside the head. Well, I'll tell you what, Kyler Storm may be saying a few prayers here as he gets ready for laser. Looking for the quick knockout as always. He's so quick to respond to the whistle. One, two, three, and Kyler's down. You know, this is an event that if somehow you can withstand the first five seconds, you have a chance to make the gladiator arm worry and maybe get five points for a draw and have a chance. He had no chance there. That's how it's done, baby. Don't worry, Michelle, he's okay. He'll be back. Event number four here in this grand championship for the women, also the joust and ascending the platform for the gladiators. A look at Siren. 
Liz is up first. She's got the strength, but can she match Siren's firepower? Siren off balance. Liz looking pretty good now. Siren countering. Liz holding her own. Again, if she can go the distance, last the entire 30 seconds without being knocked off, she'll get five points and a draw. This one a stalemate so far. Time winding down, two seconds, one second, and that is it. Liz Raglan gets five points and a draw in the joust. She momentarily takes a 15-10 lead. Much to the delight of her husband, James, but our police officer from Covington, Georgia, Adrian Sullivan, will have something to say about that. She's next. See what kind of hand-to-hand -hand skill she has. This one a good match. Oh, Adrian with a terrific shot on Siren. Her helmet sliding sideways on her head there momentarily. Is our police officer from Covington, Georgia, going to get the job done? Siren had her in trouble there for a second. We're under 10 seconds. Great battle here. Great battle here, and that is it, that is it. Time expires. Another draw for Siren and five important points for Adrian Sullivan. Adrian devoting her performance here in this grand championship to her late brother Melvin, who was tragically killed two years ago. Sully, your brother would have loved that. On the bone, the next event here in our grand championship, Whiplash. Kyler leading Dan by 10, 20 to 10. DC's got 30 seconds to try to pull the dog bone out of Turbo's hands or use it to pull him outside this ring. If he can do that, Ready. it would be worth 10 points. Daniel giving away about 60 pounds here. He has to be a human contortionist to survive some of the things that Turbo is doing to him. Our gladiators try to get that arm in an uncompromising position, forcing the contender to let go. That's exactly what Turbo did. No points for DC. Kyler Storm now can add to his 10-point lead on Daniel Cunningham with 10 here in the whiplash ring, but Again, prospects dim because looking across from Kyler is Turbo. A man who has only lost once in two seasons. Here we go. Tugging, pushing, jerking. He ought to change direction here because he's not going to outpower Turbo outside of this whiplash ring. Under 10 seconds now, that's not gonna get it done, Kyler. Try something else. Turbo holding his ground and then some. Kyler Storm unable to get it done in whiplash, but few people do against Turbo. As he demonstrates, looking at his face, the kind of concentration this event takes. Pretty intense battle up there, guys. Turbo, you said your shoulder is sore. My shoulder's sore. I'm starting to lose my grip. All the times I've been up here, all the battles I've had, very, very first man to ever try and take me on just power for power. He come in here saying, I'm going to beat him with my strength. I'm not going to use any technique, nothing. Just bear down and go. I take my hats off to him. For even trying that, that was a heck of an effort yet to come that close. Pat's off, he put up a heck of a fight. There aren't too many contenders who can get Turbo to stand up and take notice, but Kyler did in Whiplash. On to the women we go, Liz Raglan, Adrian Sullivan tied at 15, coming into this round. And up first is Liz. She defeated Jazz in the first round, a terrific upset. 
So she'll have that confidence on her side here against Ice. Here we go. Well, this is a new move. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> I tell you, Liz Raglan meant business in there. She got that thing kind of tucked between her legs and then tried to pull ice through. Winds up pulling her outside the ring, does it in just five seconds. And Liz Raglan has taken a 25-15 lead. Liz, you've played this game twice, and you've won both times. First Jazz, now Ice, two of our toughest gladiators. And this time, what move was that? Um, I just knew that she was trying to trip me, and I thought if I go off balance, I'll be in for trouble. So I just thought, just pull her out, just get it all, and just pull her behind me, and that's what I did. I guess so. I can't believe you had the strength between the legs to pull Ice. I can't believe I did that either. It was a kind of awkward position, but it worked. Ice certainly isn't happy. She'll have a chance to redeem herself against Adrian, who defeated Siren in the first round. And like Liz, Adrian blessed with a lot of strength. And she looks to be going with the raw power technique and changes direction abruptly. Ice unable to hold off the challenge. She also a six second victory. So two of the most Evenly matched finalists we have ever had, Liz Raglan and Adrian Sullivan. Through five events, they are tied at 25. And the police officer from Covington, Georgia, makes it look easy. Oh, I want to show y'all something. A little bit of my sketches for my buddies. Hawk done already signed it, so I'm going to get that. Hawk. A little bit of saber, a little bit of turbo, and a little bit of laser. My buddies, but I always wanted to clash with them at the arena. You gotta be a Titan to be here. You gotta be a Titan for this. We turn up the heat here in our grand championship. It is crunch time. Round six, the event Powerball. Liz Raglan concentrating on the task at hand, tied at 25 with Adrian Sullivan. Take them down, finals. Powerball, you know the rules. 45 seconds, score as many times as you can. Get one in the center cylinder, it is worth three. Outer cylinders worth two. All out effort, nothing less. That's what we're gonna see from these two great female contenders. Adrian, right off the bat, a great move on Jazz. Now she's got one in the center cylinder. She's got five already, that one rims off. Watch it going high, Siren. Liz Raglan loses her helmet. 20 seconds remain. Liz knows she needs the points and went for that center cylinder again. It was a mistake, but because it allowed Adrian to score. No, out. Let her go. Watch her, watch her. 10 seconds remain. Final chance for both women, probably. And Adrian just going wild out there. The police officer from Covington, Georgia, with the big, big effort when it mattered most in crunch time. And you want to talk about a sweet move. Look right there. The spin, the score. Adrian, 11 very, very impressive points. You now lead by 11 points heading into the Eliminator. You have been red hot today. Well, yeah, it took me a while to get started, but this last event here, I feel real good about going into the Eliminator, especially with the 11-point lead. I didn't think I was going in with any kind of lead. It was fantastic. You know, I watched you. You were following that screen and taking advantage of Liv's That's demise. Right. right, right. Wherever she went, I waited till the Gladiator wrapped her, and I just started right behind her because I knew it would be an open basket. It paid off. It paid off well. All right, good luck. Thank you. Thanks. And Lisa, in the process of being red hot, Adrian has turned on the crowd here at Gladiator Arena. She's saluting them. All right, the men now set for Powerball. Kyler Storm with a 2010 lead over Dan Cunningham. That's the going to air. 
I think that's so. Yeah. It's the finals here, all the marbles. Finals, finals, all the marbles. Saber, Turbo, and Hawk set to go. Very important event for both men, but especially Cunningham, the cartoonist from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania, against Storm, the motivational speaker from Stockton, California. Both men, quick starts, but they couldn't put it away. That one didn't count by Daniel. He had stepped out of bounds. Kyler Storm somehow managing to get away from Sabre. Miscommunication on the part of the Gladiators. Daniel needs to take advantage of that one-on-one -on -one situation when he has it. Ten seconds remain. Kyler going for that long distance jump shot. Maybe one more. That one did not count despite the twist. He too had stepped out of bounds. That is it. I believe only one goal and that being in the center cylinder by Kyler Storm. Kyler now leads 23-10. Congratulations all the way around. And here was that one goal, the move past Sabre. Three in the center. Who will prevail? The Eliminator will tell the tale as our grand championship continues. Welcome back to Gladiator Arena, and in just a few moments, our Eliminator runoff will decide our new grand champions for 1994-95, and who will take home the Gladiator Crystal. For the women, Adrian Sullivan and Liz Raglan are worthy heirs to the throne. They have made significant impressions on our American Gladiators. At the moment, Adrian has an 11-point lead, which will give her a five-and-a-half second head start going in. Will she hold it? Not if Tin Lizzie has anything to say about it. She's with Lisa at the start line. Liz, you told me before the semifinals that winning the $10,000 would be like winning the lottery. Well, I guess this means today's final $25,000 is a double lottery. Yeah, I think it is a double lottery. I think anybody would be glad to win it. Um, I'm just hoping to get through a nice, clean eliminator and be happy and grateful for the end. I saw you saying a little prayer up there. Are you pretty tense? I believe God's watching over me and everything I do. Win or lose, he's watching over me, and I believe that very much. All right, thanks, Liz. To the winner, $15,000. That's in addition to the $12,500 they've already won. First test of VersaClimber. The ultimate total body workout and the number one fitness choice of the American Gladiators. And look at these two athletes go, and I do mean athletes. Adrian Sullivan, the police officer from Covington, Georgia. The first to reach the top of the arena via the Versa Climber. Down the slide she comes. Liz, to win this thing, would have to come up with the performance of her life. Some 20 seconds slower in terms of her best previous eliminator time. Down goes Liz, off the cylinder, and that certainly can't help her chances. Adrian now safely atop the cargo net and down the zip line, she will come. Is she the successor to last year's champion, Peggy Odita? We're about to find out. The wall and treadmill will tell the tale. Here comes Liz. Only the treadmill remains for Adrian Sullivan. This has been a bugaboo for her. First one up to treadmill wins it. That's how simple it is from here on in. Adrian trying to gather her forces. So oftentimes we have seen a contender trying hard the first time and expending too much energy and not making it. That's what Adrian apparently is counting on that Liz won't make it and she doesn't. Now here comes Adrian with another test. She's not gonna make it. She is working so hard but running in place and down she goes. Chipper, 
Adrian Sullivan must be dying a thousand deaths down there. Look at Liz Raglan, come on. Pump those arms, keep that head up. She's doing all of that, but she just doesn't have it. How long will this take? Oh, they've gone through so much today. Six events. And the third time's a charm for Adrian Sullivan. You know, her best previous time was one minute and 30 seconds. This time around a full minute slower, 231. But she's our grand champion for 1994 and 95. And a gallant effort also turned in by Liz Raglan. Well, we jack up that treadmill for this grand championship. It goes a few revolutions per second faster. And it nearly wasted both of our female contenders. Wow. Well, my friends, it doesn't get any better than that for the Grand Championship. Adrian, I want to know what finally got you up that treadmill. My brother, Fat. <laughs> he was a great runner. He just told me to pump it just a little harder. This is the brother that passed away. The brother that passed away in 92. It's for you, Fat. It's um, all for you. What a day. You know, Liz, you won this way in the semifinals. You know, you waited twice and you got it up. Yeah. Today, j just couldn't quite do it. Today was just a little bit more tougher. It was a little faster and I felt it, but I was so close. It's just, somebody has to win and I'm just glad it's over and I had a good race. No losers, fantastic. No. Thanks for being here. No debating that one, Lisa. Both Liz and Adrian won in a big way. For the men, the points have been a little tougher to come by, yet Kyler Storm and Daniel Cunningham have had their moments of brilliance. Kyler's 23-10 lead over Dan will give him a six and a half second head start, but Dan owns the faster of the eliminator times. He turned that into the semifinals, 106. Can he do it again? I'd say yes, don't count him out. He's with Lisa at the start line. Daniel, my friend, it all comes down to this grand championship on the line now. Your best eliminator time is four seconds better than Kyler's best eliminator time, so it's got to give you a little confidence. Just a little bit. i got to pace myself and uh, just do the best I can. Pumped? Yeah. The crowd's <laughs> getting me pumped. All right, let's go. All right. Maybe pumped and a half. Going bigger. I'm going home. Ah, loyalty, you gotta love it. Kyler's gotta love his head start. Daniel waiting, waiting, and now he gets a chance to go. Can he come back? In the semifinals, Kyler did a full flip at the top of the Versa Climber. This time he goes the conventional route. No showboating, not with the Grand Championship on the line. Kyler flying across, oh, nearly a mistake there. Here comes Daniel, two legs behind. He's got a motor across this hand bike and he does. Now the cylinder. He's made that. Kyler's lead still substantial. The nice landing after the zip line. The wall, no problem. He's got one eye firmly planted on DC. He gathers himself for one last effort. He keeps that head up, pumps the legs and arms, and there he is, our grand champion for 1994-1995, Kyler Storm from Stockton, California. His time, one minute and 10 seconds. Daniel Cunningham, Gave it all he had, but it was not enough to overcome the six and a half second deficit. Kyler knew he was in for a battle with Daniel, and Michelle knew he had it in the bag all the way. What was the secret? Concentration. Tell my kids, I say, have a goal, educate yourself, persevere, don't give up. Don't give up, that's the secret. Daniel, you didn't give up, but you came up a little short. You did start behind, though. Yeah, I, I started 
That treadmill messed me up, so maybe next time. <laughs> Thanks for joining Thank us. you very much. All right. So Kyler a few smackers richer, but this is the one he wanted the most. Kyler was one of 10,000 contenders who tried out. If you think you have what it takes, well, men, you have to do 24 chin-ups in 30 seconds. Women have to do seven. 40-yard dash, men have to run it in five seconds or less, women six or less. The rope climb, men have to climb 20 feet, women 15 feet, all in under 10 seconds. Laterals, 12-5 for the men, 14 for the women. And finally, good old-fashioned Powerball. From there, we make our judgment. Train hard and good luck. A pair of winning performances here in our grand championship. Kyler pumped us up. Adrian made us bow. Introducing our runners-up and grand champions for 1994-1995. Our women's runner-up from San Diego, California, by way of Calgary, Canada, Liz Raglan. And our men's runner-up from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania, Daniel Cunningham. Introducing our grand champions for 1994-95, our women's grand champion from Covington, Georgia, Adrian Sullivan. And our men's champion from Stockton, California, Kyler Storm. Adrian, how sweet it is. It's too sweet. Too sweet. <laughs> you know, we keep asking everybody, but it's got to be a dream come true. Oh, yeah, definitely. I didn't think I'd make it this far. And your brother? Oh, yeah, Fat is very pleased. I know he is. Everybody is. Oh, yeah, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations. Everybody. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate all right, it. All right. Kyler, I remember you when you were a shy little contender trying out in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, about one of 600 people that were up there hoping for the big shot. Your motto, go big or go home, you went big. Yes, thanks, Mike, for getting me out here. And I, I tried to go big. I want to go big. And from here on out, I'm going big. I'm never going home. <laughs> going home Hawk, Hawk, what about this guy? I tell you what, I'm, I'm, glad, he, I'm glad contenders can't come back for a second year because this guy put a little bit of a hurting on us. Congratulations, brother. Thanks, Hawk, man. Great job. I love you guys. Love LA. Tyler Storm, congratulations. Daniel Cunningham, congrats. Liz, Adrian, you were terrific. So another great season comes to an end for Lisa Malowski and all of our great contenders, not just our runners-up and grand champions. I'm Mike Adamley. From our team to your team, we'll meet again on the American Gladiators. Today's four finalists received VersaClimber, the number one fitness choice of the American Gladiators. Gladiator Arena, it's not the winning, it's the friendships and the lasting memories.